there. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. I just got back from San Francisco and uh, I was so busy all week that there was no way I was going to be able to have a chance to post a video. So I had to ask Lady Vixen to do my training star video and she did such an awesome job. I love her. And the week before that we were all getting ready to go to San Francisco at work so uh, I just have just been busy just I don't think that I've uh, had kind of a moment to rest in about two weeks and I just got back in Copenhagen after uh, after 15 hours of traveling and in the last 24 hours I've slept maybe maybe three hours and about 30 minute chunks on the flight and so two flights so my neck is really sore and yeah um, I'm not sure I'm so loopy that if I seem overly happy it's just because uh, <laughs> I'm so tired that I can't really feel anything else um, so I want y'all to know that I'm around that I haven't uh, abandoned anybody but I've just been busy life is just busy sometimes and that's good but also annoying when, when you're busy in ways that you can't do the things that you're accustomed to doing. Breaking the routine, I guess. Breaking the routine is is difficult and it shakes up life. This is Toby. Toby's my kitty. He's the best kitty in the world. I don't care what any of you say. Toby is the best. Look at that face. Look at that face. He's fussy, but he missed me, so that was Toby's YouTube debut. Um, I've had so much on my mind, like there have been so many different things I've wanted to talk about for the last couple of weeks, and like, oh, I gotta do a video about this, I gotta do a video about that, and I just haven't had time now that I'm sitting down to actually do one because it's been so long, I have no idea. There are people shouting outside, I think it's children playing. Um, I have no idea what I want to talk about. Um, I guess I could talk about San Francisco. So I was attending the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco. Uh, and I'm rocking my Granny Theft Tofu shirt today. Maybe you can see that. Like that. Granny Theft Tofu. Yeah. Google it. You'll find it. Um, Game Developers Conference was awesome. Uh, I was there working and we were showing off our product and we had this big booth that was right next to Nintendo and Intel. Uh, so I feel like we're one of the big players this year. And our booth was consistently full. And uh, all the other booths were like white and, and metal. And ours was like smooth Scandinavian wood colors. So it was really different than the others. Really attention getting. And just, just cool. Just cool. So you know, we were showing off our product in a bunch of computers and we were testing to make sure that the software was running on all the machines and that we had the latest version of the software and that we had a new project fold, like projects, updated projects with as few bugs as possible. And, um, it's just been go, 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 go. I woke up today, yesterday, yesterday in the U S it's Monday morning in the U S I woke up Sunday morning in the U S and flew and then I uh, sat on a plane and I got off the plane in Europe and it was um, Monday morning. So time traveling. Time traveling is an uh, interesting experience and not, not nearly as exciting as fiction would have us believe. But, um, you know, I got to see uh, some friends in San Francisco. I got to see a lot of friends at the conference, people that had come into town for the conference and some people that lived there. Uh, and there are some people that I didn't get to see. And that's, that sucks, but I guess we don't always get what we want. So, life goes on. And, uh, I saw, I saw, I saw somebody that I had kind of had a fling with the last time I saw him. And, um, it was so funny. When he, when we saw each other, he came up to me and was like, sup? And like gave me a fist bump. I was like, what the fuck? But it was, it was really cute of him, actually. It's. 
I don't know. It's like, somehow, even though we have this fling, it's like I'm still one of the guys to him. That's kind of weird. But maybe that just means he's comfortable to me. But I don't know. It's, it's, it's just funny, the dynamic. Um, but yeah, I woke up so late that I didn't have time to shave or do makeup at all. So like, I traveled on the plane like this. And like, I'll just show you my stubble here. So, I don't know if you can see it actually, but I've got a bunch of stubbles, so I feel like I was totally in androgyny mode you know, on the plane. Like, I wasn't wearing any earrings, I wasn't, I just had the nails, and I had no makeup, and this face. Although, even when going through, even when going through airport security and showing my passport with my old photo and my old name, um, I still get people looking at me like, you're Samuel, and it's like, shit, really? Is it really that hard to tell? Like, I think I think that if I'm not all girlified, then it's not really that different. I don't really look that different, but I guess I guess I do, just because I'm older and have had a year of estrogen almost, and that's just how it goes. So, um. So you can you can tell that I'm in a new camera angle today. I decided that um, you know it's getting to be spring here, so it's finally sunny. It's five o'clock here right now, and you know, one month ago in February, uh, it would have been pitch black at this time of day, and that's why my videos are always so dark because it's just that dark when I make them. But now that the sun's coming back, I think it's time for a little bit of change. You know, spring is coming. It's here, actually, by now. It's crisp in the air. There's sun. It's blue skies. It's not, you know, depressing gray clouds and freezing snow anymore. And uh, so I'm feeling the need to, to, to change things up a little bit. And I've been thinking about my channel, and I've been thinking about Tranny Star, and I've been thinking about work, and I've been you know, my hobbies and what I'm spending my time on, and I feel like I want to take my little world and shake it up a little bit. So, I'm not quite sure how to describe exactly what I want to do, but um, I think I just have to wait and see. You know, I, I, guess, I guess what I can say is that the motorboat I guess what I can say is that I, when I got on Tranny Star, like I was so excited to do these kind of cool projects and weird projects and I did, I did this Tools of Humanity video and uh, that was just so awesome to get back into filmmaking. I used to do filmmaking for those of you that didn't know, I don't know if I've explained that. And so doing Tools of Humanity was this awesome project that really kind of, I was really happy to actually like make something creative. And so I thought that being on Tranny Star would help me do more creative stuff. Um, but what I discovered is that being obligated to make a video each week is, is really exhausting. And um, the kind of preparation it would take to do kind of interesting projects like that um, is just not really sustainable. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start treating Tranny Star... My, the videos on, on Saturdays on Tranny Star, more like fireside chat, where we have topics we discuss. And I might start to take a few more liberties with my personal channel. Um, to just kind of do some more projects. Like, I, I miss filmmaking sometimes. I, it's what I did before I got into software. And so I want to do more of it. Um, and I want to talk about more things. I, I want to kind of deviate from all the trans talk, even though I'll keep that up, but I, I want to share other things too. So I don't know if I should do it on my personal channel on Samantha034 or, um, if I should make a new one. So actually, if you have any thoughts about that, I would love to know. But right now what I think I'm going to do, since it's 5 p.m. and I don't want to fall, I'm so tired I could just go to sleep right now. But if I do, then I'll wake up at like two in the morning and I'll be miserable and then, you know, it's, it'll be Tuesday. Yeah, it, it would just be bad. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some Battlefield Bad Company 2 until like 9 or 10 p.m. See if that can keep me awake. And then I'll crash. And when I crash, I'm gonna crash hard. I'm gonna crash like a blue screen of death. Yeah. <laughs> That's so nerdy. Alright. Peace, you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Ah, in fact, I'll see you next time.